So J. Cole finally responded to Kendrick and Drake's legendary battle, the battle that J. Cole chose to drop out from and apologize and say, I don't want no smoke. You know, finally address it on record if you haven't heard. So I want to play it and I want to discuss it, man, because that was still one of the craziest moments in rap history, bro. Seeing somebody back out of a battle like that after engaging, after dropping a diss record and then dropping out after... That was crazy, so I, I want to hear what he got to say, man. Let's get right into it, and then we're going to talk more about it. I wonder if Cole produced this track, too. I don't know who produced this track. I'm not mad at this beat. Is that the Dead Presidents sample? Is that the same sample from Jay-Z Dead Presidents? Young Jermaine walked the straight and narrow Minimum wage jobs for the narrow But still my mind was on the zeros I fiend for the perks that was seen flipping birds So we were skipping church But my eyes was on the sparrows Niggas flipping pies, spending thousands on the payroll Shit, I wanna shine too I want dimes too Jealous niggas wanna know just how my rhymes blew Mono we mono, I'm Bono, I'm you times two Now I'm bougie, I done out crew the fountain blue But never forgot the spot where I developed my plot To dwell at the top the veil where all my skeletons lock If I could do it all over then I never would swap I seen good, I seen bad, had my melanin mocked I seen lifelong friends turn to devilish ops I was Mike in red leather trying to tell him to stop You better beat it for you see that heavy metal get popped He was a mean ass wing with a hell of a shot But if no team draft king he gon' bet on the block He wanna ball till he fall until the federals knock And sit his ass on the bench for moving careless with rock You can't relate unless your father was not around and your mother Went out and found someone else and they brought them round And they salaries didn't combine When they married and brought you out of that poverty Then you moved to a soft little part of town So that when you back in the hood you feel awkward about it now Yo, Cole snapping bro I say this last year, last two years Cole has really elevated his, his pen man I can't lie, he's really elevated his pen The last, last two years, ever since he went on that like feature run And then we started recognizing him for all his features it's like he really, really got into his bag. Cole always been able to rap, but I personally can hear his growth, like how much better he's continuously gotten. Cole been snapping, man. And your confidence start to drown, but the rapper gave you some positive thoughts, so you jot them down. You jot them down. Ride to it, 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 ride to it. Y'all niggas ain't stopping me. 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 I guess he had to let it breathe before he addressed what we all wanted to hear. Benjamin Button, cold flows reverse time To find deliveries good as mine, you gotta search primes I'm scaling heights higher than birds can perch Trying to be something, hoping that peace comes to my cursed mind One thing's for sure that I've matured from my first rhyme I learned long ago you can't please them all and it hurts trying In this game where all you've got is your name like dirt I'm smirking at niggas trying to be smirched mine Absurd times, with a fake get told it is wise I can see hating both of your eyes, but the third's blind So you search lines but you struggle, which explains the puzzled look on the dull faces the word finds. I hate what raps become, but like, do not disturb signs. Can't knock it if I see it's about the dough. They instigate the fuckery because it's profitable. But singing stop the violence tunes with dudes in hospitals. I pulled the plug because I seen where that was about to go. They wanted blood, they wanted clicks to make their pockets grow. They see this fire in my pen and think I'm dodging smoke. I wouldn't have lost the battle dog, I would have lost the pro. I would have gained the Okay, first off, he's snapping, man. I see, I see both sides, bro. I see both sides. Hearing him, hearing, hearing him spin. I'm gonna get back to the verse, but hearing him say what he said, like I would have lost it, bro. It sounds like he really feel either Kendrick was gonna go too far, no matter who Kendrick was battling, or Cole probably felt like he would have had to go too far 
in order to win the battle. And and it sounds like he's saying that he's doing it because all the fans is, is egging it on. But it's like, bro, you jumped you jumped out the window with the disc record. You made a whole disc record. I think we would have respected it more if he never made his initial disc record to Kendrick, if he never responded to Kendrick and then quit. I think we would have respected it more. But the fact that he engaged and then backed out, it just seemed like you running from the smoke. You know, that's what it seemed like. But maybe him and Kendrick had a conversation. I heard that uh, – heard somebody from Kendrick's camp – did talk to Cole and told him like, "Yo, this this battle is about to is gonna be serious. It ain't, this ain't nothing that you want to get in." As far as uh, Kendrick and Drake, so Cole probably heard that and was like, "Oh, I didn't know he was taking it that serious. Let me back back." But him saying he feel like he would have lost a bro, I can respect it if you really feel like we was gonna have to go too far in order for me to win or for you you to win, and we probably would have had to say some stuff that we couldn't come back from. And we actually cool, we actually bros. I can I can understand why he could have felt that way, but he should have never engaged in the first place. That's all I'm saying. Let's get back to it. I would have gained a phone and all for what just to attain some old props from strangers that don't got a clue what I've been aiming for since the age of 14. Jermaine is no king if that means I gotta dig up dirt and pay the whole team of algorithm bot niggas just to sway the whole thing on social media, competing for your favorable memes to be considered best to live and rest the weight of both things. I understand the thirst of being first that made them both swing, protecting legacies so line got crossed perhaps regrettably my friends went to war i walked away with all they blood on me now some will discredit me try wipe away my pedigree but please find a nigga out that's rapping this incredibly uh my dog texted me i share the words he said to me if you refuse to shoot the gun don't mean the gun ain't deadly uh. yo i'm gonna say it again he's snapping bro he's snapping the wordplay is crazy like the lines the, 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 him being able to put your your stream of thoughts on paper on record and make it all make sense. It's not an easy task to do, especially doing it the way that he's doing it. Uh, so shout outs to Cole for for pinning this this verse. This is a fire verse. He definitely snapping. But again, man, like I I, I see what he's saying. Like he he's like these are both my homies, Drake and Dot. He like I walked away with blood on me from from both my homies from this war, you know. And I don't want to have to have to pick sides. I don't want to choose sides between. Dot and Drake, but bro, you this is rap, bro. This ain't this ain't that, bro. This ain't kumbaya. This rap. And look, if 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 Dot is is if Dot is your man's for real, I feel like you should have kind of known that Dot don't really rock with Drake in real life. If that's if Dot is really your man's, if Kendrick really J Cole man's, I feel like he should have known that Kendrick really don't like Drake for real. So when you hopped on that record with Drake, when you hopped on on Big as the What, Big as the Super Bowl, and you hear Drake taking shots, you know what I'm saying, saying it ain't no big three, you know, it's just us two purposefully leaving Kendrick out, and you participate on that record, and you try to kumbaya your way on that record, Kendrick like, no, bro, that was weak. You, you on the record with the ops, he sending shots, and you trying to make it seem like it's kumbaya, no, I'm coming for all y'all. I'm coming for all y'all niggas' heads, man. That's what Kendrick was on. So to hear Drake, to to hear J. Cole say this now is like, I don't want to play both sides. It's like, bro, you knew what you was getting into, man. I get it. You probably he probably felt like he couldn't turn down no Drake record when Drake hit him up to get on that big as a Super Bowl record. He probably felt like, man, I can't say no to a Drake feature. It's about to go crazy. So let me get on it. But Drake being who Drake is, Drake purposely sending little shots to Spider-Man meme. And it's me looking at Drake. That's what Cole said. So that's like excluding Kendrick from the big three. And then Drake saying what he said, excluding Kendrick from the big three, is like they purposely trying to exclude him and leave him out. So Kendrick like, yo, if that's what y'all want to do, it's just big media. Like, that's what it is. But let's get back into it. I guess in that metaphor, hypothetically, the gun is me. I text her back like, guess a gun ain't what I'm trying to be, my nigga. They stripped me of my spot and now I'm finally free, my nigga. They say I'm picking sides, they don't you lie on me, my nigga. To start another war, hey Drake, you'll always be my nigga. I ain't ashamed to say you did a lot for me, my nigga. Fuck all the narratives. Tapping back into your magic pen is what's imperative. Reminding these folks why we do it. It's not for beefing, it's for speaking our thoughts, pushing ourselves, reaching the charts, reaching your minds, deep in your hearts, creeping up, finding emotions to touch, something inside to open you up, help you cope with the rough times and shit. I'm sending love cause we ain't prime and shit. My nigga, y'all niggas ain't stopping me. 
So that's the record. The name of that record is Poor Antonio. And I'm not mad at it, man. I'm not I'm not mad at the raps at all. Um, anytime we can get some good quality raps, I'm here for it because the state of the rap game to me right now is just not it. It's kind of terrible. So we got some good raps out to deal. As far as the things that he was saying, I'm, I'm going to sit with it some more and actually dissect and break down the lyrics. But it was pretty self-explanatory to me off first listen. Cole just want to ride his bike, man. The Cole just want to ride his bike, bro. So that's just my take on it, man. I'm not mad at the record. Shout out to Cole for, for dropping the banger. I don't know how much I'm going to be listening to this record, like jamming to it like it's a bop. But I feel like it, it did what it needed to do, you know. He got, he got it off his chest. He said what he needed to say. He addressed it. We see how he feels. Let me know what you think about his stance, you know. Let me know if you think that was the right move for him to do, if you understand what he did, or if you don't rock with it at all. If you feel like, no, nah, he should have engaged in battle. This is rap. He should have engaged in battle. Because that's, that's how I look. It's, it's rap, bro. It's a competitive sport, man. It's not kumbaya all the time. We got to... We got to say who's the best. We got to see who's the best. It's, just, it's a number one spot you fighting for. This is rap, man. So, yeah, let me know in the comments, man, what you think, bro, about this record, if you're rocking with it or not. If you can, fuck me, hit the subscribe button. I'll really appreciate it. Subscribe, go a long way. Hit the like button. Leave a comment for the boy. And uh, I'm going to get back on y'all soon, man. Peace.